Up the dubs is the sign that I'm looking at up above me here around Parnell Park and it's appropriate tonight. Hello and welcome to Parnell Park but very very sad news. I'm looking up at the skies here as well as the sign and everything's blue tonight and it's as if the skies are crying for Brian Mullins passed away today, the great Brian Mullins, the legend that is Brian Mullins from St Vincent's just around the corner from here of course. UCD legend, Dublin legend, everybody knows of Brian Mullins when you think about Dublin. And uh, there was a lovely comment by Vinnie Murphy and he said um, that Brian was the heart and soul. If Hefo was the father of the Dublin army, Brian Mullins was the heart and soul. But I'm going to get a few other people to do the uh, tribute for me. And I've got along here the PRO from St Vincent's, that's uh, Dermot Daly. And also Dennis Murphy as well, who's joining us in co-commentary tonight. Sad, sad night. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just heard a couple of hours ago. Um, obviously, we knew he, we wasn't he wasn't well, but just it came as a big shock when we heard the last, you know, 90 minutes back or so, you know. And last night we were putting up flags, getting ready for today. And, you know, this evening we were back over there putting them back at half mast. You know, everyone's just shell shocked over there. And there's so much excitement. You can hear the kids here are so excited, different generation. And Brian wouldn't want it any other way though than them being here and all this going ahead. Absolutely not. Look, Brian's a club man first, uh, and look, you know he's obviously known for his prowess in the in the eighties with Dublin. But like we know him as a club man, and you know he's done. He's you know he he's a former chairman. He managed juvenile teams. He managed senior teams, and even like back in January, he put his hand up to be senior games director, adult games director. So, you know, total club man. He wouldn't have it any other way. Tonight's definitely gone ahead. Dennis. What are your memories of this guy? I mean, you put it very nicely, Dermot, there. Um, what was you said? His prowess. He, was, um, he had a certain reputation, shall we say, as a player. And outside Dublin, he, he was known as a very, very tough player. Yeah, he was tough and 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 fair. Like we had his battles. I remember a, a particular battle against uh, against Galway in in '83 semi final. I remember '76. There was a semi final against uh, against Galway on a wet day in in, in Crow Park in '76. But my memory of of uh, Brian and his his contribution and validly uh, people talk about the team that won the five six in a row there in Dublin and what they've done for the GA. I went to school in Crumlin and I was in secondary school in the early mid 70s and I I had to, when Dublin came to the fore with Heffern and the father and Brian as the heart and soul, I had to show fellas for around Crumlin where Crow Park was, you know, to think back the impact that that team had on the GAA, not only in Dublin, I think the GAA nationally have benefited from that and Brian was such a huge, huge part of that. Very, very sad day for all of us in Dublin tonight. Everybody remembers the 12 Apostles in 1983. He was sent off that day, of course, but got his medal. And people remember that as an infamous day, but an amazing day for Dublin. Yeah, I think 83 is remembered for, for the two days, and that wasn't the greatest football match, but the semi-final in 83 was, was a match that you'd watch and watch again. And I have a fair bit of Cork blood in me, and while they don't like the result, they remember the day in Cork when the Dubs travelled to Cork for that replay. And it was a tremendous occasion, again for the GA. And yes, Dublin came out on top, which was great for us from Dublin, uh, but again, a huge contribution to the GA. Look, I mean, I heard Dennis talking about Cork, there in 83 for me that was his most iconic game but the thing about his uh, Jerome as well is he was involved in a very serious road accident a couple of years before that and how he came back to play football never mind football at the level he played is absolutely incredible the term bionic man was created for Brian Mullins I just want to take this public opportunity to extend my sympathies to his family to his friends everyone in Vincent's and uh, UCD as well and you mentioned UCD I saw him many times cycling from Marino going all the way over to UCD and himself and Dave Billings, God rest him, has gone as well from there. Two absolute legends of that area. Absolutely, two great Vincent's men as well, you know, and uh, you know that team that won the All-Ireland in 83, I, I think um, Mulds is the fourth member of that team to, to pass on and, you know, there's going to be some session of when, when he gets there, but uh, it's, it's, it's sad. It's just a couple of days after his 68th birthday as well, Jerome, you know. Yeah, I have more numbers back there, but not able to clear it That's and the it. final whistle goes we have no more time and it is St Vincent's they have got their title back Jude's had it the last two years but it's Vincent's they are the champions for 2022 of the go ahead Dublin Senior One Championship with a brilliant and comprehensive performance to win the game by 114 to 10 points and look what it means to their supporters coming on at the end to celebrate with the players 
and it's also a poignant one under the Dublin skies here on a Friday night in Parnell Park on the day that the great Brian Mullen from the St Vincent's Club has passed on and no doubt he is looking down and smiling on the performance by these girls and doing the club proud tonight. He was a Vincent's man, always a Vincent's man. And this Emotional is evening of course as well with the loss of the great Brian Mullins earlier today. Yeah, 100%. Look, Brian Mullins epitomises what it means to be in a club man in a lot of ways and there's a lot of people in Vincent's who've been posit positively influenced by his presence and by the work that he's done so that was definitely a thought that was at the forefront of our minds going in tonight. You know, we, we had a, a chat in the dressing room before we came out about what he meant to the club and what he kind of represented and brought to the pitch every time he played and we wanted to emulate that tonight.